Pat and I want to make a difference in the world. That's why we come to Westminster, and that is why we give to Westminster. Westminster makes a difference in our lives, makes a difference in your lives, and it makes a difference in the world. So we've been here, I think, just three years now, almost exactly. And Westminster allows us to explore our faith, enables us to serve others, and equips us to face the world. Westminster has allowed us to explore our faith through worship, through some really fun classes, and through Bible study. I think one of our, Pat and my favorite is, uh, when we first got here in Lent, we read the entire book of gospel, as a, uh, the entire gospel of Mark in a small group in one city. And it was really moving. But we haven't just explored our faith individually, we've explored it in community. And we've explored it with other seekers, other followers. And we've made good friends and fellows through, through the men's group, through women connecting, through the movie group. And we really admired how Westminster continued to connect us all during COVID. It was really important to us. And Westminster has enabled us to serve others both directly and indirectly. We have been so impressed with the outreach that this community offers. I uh, look just at the um, alternative Christmas fair that we had on Thanksgiving and all the different groups that were supported through the outreach mission team. And we've focused on supporting Marin City. Uh, for us, that started with a call by Jeff Shankel to help with a, a small little construction project. And that has turned into the Boy Scout Troop, which Westminster now sponsors. The Boy Scout Troop is now building an intergenerational community garden sponsored by Westminster. So we're building a garden while we are building lives of value and character for these young men through Westminster. And we also enjoy giving and making lunches for Marin City every Tuesday through Carol and Jared Gunn. And I think by the end of the year, collectively, many of you, we will have donated over 10,000 lunches to Marin City. And Westminster has equipped us to deal with the world. And I mean, Lord, the last three years have been pretty darn challenging. A pretty crazy political environment here in the U.S., a global pandemic with COVID, war in the Ukraine, financial uncertainty, and that's just the underlying stuff upon which we try and live the lives with all the normal challenges. Uh, I haven't shared this with but a few of you guys, uh, you all, and uh, personally, over the last couple years, I've been in the hospital six times, twice with cancer, and twice with COVID, and twice with kidney stones. Uh, I'm fine now, um, but the spirit that is Westminster lifted Pat and me during this, and it made a difference in our, in our lives. So Westminster is rich in spirit, it's rich in what it has to offer, but it is not rich in treasure. And we need every dime of your stewardship contributions to help maintain, if not enhance, the investment we make in people and property and programs. So we ask that you carefully consider making a sacrifice of some of your treasure to donate to Westminster to help us fulfill many of these ministries. So I'd like to close with a saying that my grandfather taught me. It's been a guideline for, for me in my life. And it says a hundred years from now, it won't matter where I lived. It won't matter what kind of car I drove. It won't matter what the balance was in my bank account, but it might make a difference that I was important in the life of a child. And we are all children. And Westminster makes a difference in our lives, it makes a difference in the world. 
And we ask that you help make a difference at Westminster by generously contributing to the stewardship campaign. Thank you for allowing me to share.